having posted a clip on YouTube the other day uh, saying that we, or I was thinking about um, delaying uh, drilling wheat for a bit because the conditions are so dry, uh, because we've got about 600 hectares of wheat to drill and we haven't drilled any yet because we've been holding off for a rain, uh, I've got a bit nervous about trying to get that much in the ground with just this one drill. And so uh, we started drilling wheat today, today, perhaps against my better judgment, uh, but we've got a lot to do. And um, so you can just see that the conditions are quite dusty. Uh, but I have to say that um, the seabeds that we're getting this year are probably some of the best that we've ever had. And uh, just to quote a, a neighbour of mine, uh, he has this saying which goes along the lines of, if you drill in the dust, the barn will bust. And uh, what he's thinking of is that basically if you're, if you're doing all your operations in dry conditions, I mean basically you're, you're really not um, pounding down on your soil structure because the soil's nice and dry so it's keeping all the implements out of the ground and you're not compacting your soils. And so if you get your seed into a good seedbed, into uncompacted soils, it's very likely that next harvest you'll have a fantastic yield. So the phrase is drill in the dust, i.e. in good conditions, and uh, next harvest uh, your barn will bust, bust with fantastic yield. So um, if that saying's true, it looks like harvest 2012 is going to be a bumper one. Um, but anyway, so uh, we'll just continue drilling, I think, for a few days. They are talking about uh, the odd shower next, um, this coming Wednesday. Uh, but to be quite honest, you know, we need about an inch of rain to make any difference to this sort of heavy clay soil. 